well, basically it all depends on the length of the trip. It takes quite a bit of planning. Uh, you gotta organize the time slot that you're gonna do your uh, dialysis. If it's a short trip, let's say two, three days, and if you're flying, what I usually do is I put the uh, liquids as check-in bags and I carried it with me and you hope the bags arrive there. Because if they don't, then you'll probably have to buy another ticket and come back. It's never happened to me, I'm, I've been quite lucky. And if you go for a longer duration, then you have uh, Baxter where you give them the address where you're staying and they can deliver the liquids for you uh, at your hotel or at a residence. And, uh, and then once you receive it, you just basically, you just gotta figure your uh, time slot when you have to go back to your hotel to do the dialysis and then just go back out again. If you go without dialysis for uh, a few days, you'll probably uh, feel weak, but uh, it won't kill you. Worst case scenario, I'll just get a, another ticket and come back to Canada, basically. You just gotta deal with it. Or you find the liquids at the local destination, you have to you know, speak to a hospital.